In this last video, I'm going to reconstruct this cul-de-sac and I want to design it so that uh, a garbage truck will be able to turn around at the cul-de-sac. So I have created an alignment for the new horizontal geometry. Uh, in order to get that alignment, I did use the Autodesk uh, vehicle tracking uh, software to do so. So I have created a turning path here using a, uh, a garbage truck um, as the default. If I just quickly animate that you can see that the garbage truck can exit the cul-de-sac um, if we uh, change the horizontal geometry there. So I'll just turn that turning path off. When I created the alignment I added a CDS dash in the alignment description. So when we use the ARD cul-de-sac command, we'll, we will be able to reference um, uh, this alignment. So if I go to the roads tab on the ribbon and run the cul-de-sac command, because I'm creating a new cul-de-sac, I select on enter. I give the cul-de-sac a name. I'll call this one Alexandra CDS. It's uh, positioned at the end of Alexandra Street matching code will be EB. Uh, using the cold set command you do have a, a number of different templates you can use to form the geometry but I'm going to use specify. I, I do need to set the center of the bowl. Uh, later on I'm going to create a string to form the, the crown at the cul-de-sac. If I pick on vertical grading controls I'll specify the auto template for now. So the software will take the shape of the road um, and continue that around the cul-de-sac. So I'll have the full path uh, wrapping around. I'm going to remove that uh, in a sec. So if I select on Compute Vertical Grading, close this form. Uh, if I run Auto Model, we can see that that new cul-de-sac has been added. And I can turn the mesh on so we can see the triangulation for that. To remove the footpath, um, the easiest way to do that is in the design data form for the cul-de-sac. I'm going to add a variation called delete all six and sections outside selected codes. And I'll say for the whole length of the cul-de-sac from the left side LBK, remove all those codes. So the LBK code will remain, but all other codes will be removed. I'll just update the model and close that down and you can see that we've removed the footpath uh, it ends uh, where the cul-de-sac starts. Now in order to create the crown through the cul-de-sac there's a number of ways I could do it. I could insert a code onto my uh, cross-section for the cul-de-sac maybe to insert an offset out um, and use variations to, to form it. What I'm going to do is create a polyline, turn that into an alignment. I'll call this uh, CDS crown. This will be treated as a string, so I don't have to put anything in, in the description. I'll click OK. I'm going to set the spacing at one meter and click OK. So this is a, a, a profile of the, the crown. I can do a design for the crown um, however I like. Uh, a couple of things that I'm going to do um, when I'm working with strings what I like to do is just add an entry in for the batters or an override on the batters and just tell the software that for both sides I don't want to include any batters and I'll just go add update to that because I don't want batters extra uh, LBAT and RBAT codes added to that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is add this string to my model. Um, by default strings won't be included in auto model. Uh, generally when you work with strings you need to use model builder. However there is an option to add strings to the auto model surface and I can do that through the toggle display option. If I go to auto model edits you can see my CDS crown is listed down the bottom here 
and I can tell the software to include that into the auto model and show the line work for it as well. And you'll see when I click OK, rebuild auto model, the triangulation will form to that crown. So I'll just rerun auto model there and you can see that, that crown has been added. Um, as I make changes to the, the levels of the crown, uh, my surface will will update. If I want to set the levels up for the cul-de-sac, I can uh, run open vertical grading and open up the vertical grading for it. There might be certain sections of the cul-de-sac where I want to match uh, to the existing and use the existing curb and channel. So perhaps through the middle here, I want to uh, keep the curb and channel uh, that's, that's currently there and leave that pit there. So that's one approach to reconstruct a cul-de-sac. Uh, using the uh, your own alignment uh, and then using the specify option in the cul-de-sac command to, to form that and then using a string to form the crown for, for the cul-de-sac. Thank you for watching this video series on road reconstruction.